Hey everybody, this is DungeonGuru.net's channel. This is Nethervoid. And this is Atropunk. Hello. Welcome back. We're doing a uh, Dofus. Let's play Dofus today. We're doing it on pets. This is all about pets, all the different uh, information. And first you can see this. I'm at the login screen. I just logged in. And uh, every time you buy a subscription, uh, renew it or whatever, you get a choice of a gift. And this is one of the ways you can get pets. I just wanted to show you. Now, uh, neither of these are pets, but if you get a pet, it's usually packaged like this. And you just click the character you want it on and say assign. That's one way to get pets. Uh, another way to get pets is from a lot of times if you complete a dungeon, you'll get a pet. There's like a quest and you can get a pet. Or there's lots of other ways. You'll have to kind of look them up. That's a little pat over the scope of this. Okay, so the next thing you need to know is how, to, how do you equip pets or who can equip pets. Most of the pets are subscriber-only pets. That means you have to subscribe in order to put a pet on your character. Also, your character has to be level 10 or above to put a character on. Uh, and while I'm at the login screen, you can see every one of my characters has a pet. And the reason for that is uh, pets take a long time to grow. Uh, every, usually, the pet will only grow one stat point every three feedings. So that you can obviously see this guy right here, his max is 80 hit points. And he starts with zero, so that's 240 feedings. Uh, that's a long time. So pets become very valuable when they're fed properly. And that's a way you can make money if you sell your pets. Um, so let me just, I haven't fed any of my pets today, and we'll talk about feeding times in a minute. I'm going to feed this pet. Every pet has a, has a minimum and maximum time between feedings. Usually all you care about is the minimum, but uh, this pet specifically, the minimum time between feedings is 11 hours, which means there's a one hour window so that I can feed him two times a day. And uh, you can look at his stats. So I, he's pretty high right now. 80 agility is the highest this guy will get. He started at zero, so I fed him a lot. He's worth a few hundred thousand, probably a couple hundred thousand right now. They can also have multiple stats per. Right, right, right. Each each pet can have different kind of stats. Like I think this guy can have uh, air resist, and depends on what you feed him. What you feed him will will uh, tell you which stat it will gain. For this guy, there's a couple different things I can feed him for agility, but I eat, like sesame seed because you can look on the Dofus wiki yeah. if you want to know what stuff he eats. Well, what any of your pets see, actually. Right. Pet, pets, yeah. The Dofus Wiki will tell you a list of all the pets, what their bonuses are, their feeding times, minimum max, and what they can eat, what stat it'll, it'll gain. Now, this is pretty typical of a good food to feed the pet. I'm going to buy a stack of 100. Each time I feed them, basically cost me 100. But it's still a good investment. This is going to soak up a lot of my cash that I have in my character, but that's fine. So now that I've got some food, I usually keep it all... Just like 20 on me at a time, I'll put the rest of these in the bank, and then he, did, he didn't grow. I don't think, right? No. He's at 42. He's been at Every, 42. Each pet has a certain amount of times they need to be fed before they'll grow one, and most of them are three. So, basically this guy gets an extra um, agility point every, every day and a half. Yeah. <clears throat> so I have two pets that are like that. I generally just feed them first, because I want to make sure that I don't miss that one hour window. If if you if you feed your pet before the window, he'll eat the food, but he will not gain toward his stat. And you might not be able to see that because you might be right in the middle between stat gain, but uh, this guy eats fish. But you'll definitely... You basically, you have to skip now. Now you have to wait 11 more hours to feed him again, and you got nothing out of it. So really manage that time closely. Let's change character again. The rest of my pets are every four hours. I could be feeding them, you know, five times a day approximately without, without cutting it really close. And they would grow pretty fast, but I just feed all my pets at the same time. Oh, well, my pets are dead. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. Um, I don't feed my pets that well. So in order for your time, in order for the 11 hours or whatever it is for your minimum feeding to uh, tick off, the pet has to be equipped. Oh, gained one, see? And the reason for that is people used to have like whole inventory full of pets and they'd switch them out and feed a jillion pets and sell them for money. And it made, it glutted the market a lot. So now you have to have your pet equipped at all times for the timer to tick. Um, another type of pet that does not require food is called a soul eater. There's a different, there's a few soul eaters out there. It's kind of a newer type of pet. And basically every time you kill a monster of a certain type, it, 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 goes toward the growth of that 
uh, pet. It takes a lot longer, in my opinion, to grow those pets. But the cool thing about it is it's not time-based. If you go out and slaughter like a thousand gobbles or something for the gobble soul eater, then he'll grow kind of fast. And I think you don't have to feed them, which is kind of cool. You don't have to feed them at all, and you get 20 more extra um, no, HP points than um, the regular gas does. He gets 100. Yeah, also, um, I don't think... You can check the Dofus Wiki on this, or or maybe the forums, but I don't think you have to feed a pet once he's fully matured. I'm not really sure about that, so... Oh, it's stink. No, that, yeah, it's cool you don't have to feed him at all, and he won't. Because what happens with your pet is if you don't feed him, and you keep him on, on you, and you just, like, I don't know, go on vacation for a month or something, they start losing hit points. I'll show you what that is in a second. If, Each, you, put, if you put them in your bank, they don't lose HP, but they become right, skinnier I, fat. I was about to talk about that in a second, but I wanted to show them HP first. See, this guy's really hurt. Every pet starts with a maximum amount. Some of them are 10. This guy, some of them are 6. This guy's 6, so I need to, uh... He did not gain anything. Let's heal him up a little bit. Do you have any Esperminum? Yeah, I was just about to talk about that. <laughs> um, let's go to my bank. I think I put some in here. So oh. you can yeah, we have five. You can heal your pet with this. I'm just going to get three of them. You have to be a subscriber. You can only buy them from vendors. And you have to be a subscriber to go there because it's outside of the newbie area. They're $1,000 per powder. Dollars, <laughs> a thousand comma for for powder. So pretty you want to be man. pretty careful with them. So we talked about one way that they can lose health by not feeding him in the proper time. Another way is every time you have one equipped, when you die in a fight, he will lose a health a health point. And uh, hold on a second, please. So Andrew got a phone call, so he won't be with us uh, for the rest of the video. So anyway, um, you definitely want to watch their health points because once it goes to zero. Your pet will die, and you'll end up with a ghost of that pet. And you can revive them, but it costs a lot of money, and sometimes it's not worth it. Usually when your pet dies, you just you just throw them away. If they're full, fully maxed out, you might want to bring them back to life. <clears throat> but generally, it's, it's not worth it. So just watch the health. And I usually keep a couple powders on me if it's my main fighting character, or I'll just keep some in the bank like you just saw me get some out right now. Uh, let's see. I think I only have one more pet to feed. No, I fed all my pets. So we went over pretty much everything. Uh, if you have any more questions about pets, just leave a comment and I'll try to answer it in, in, uh, in the video section or on the, on the channel comment page. Um, feeding pets, it's kind of a pain, but they're they get huge bonuses and, uh, and they're very valuable when you get them really high. Um, I definitely recommend it if you're a subscriber. You can make pretty good money doing that. It takes a while to make the money, but hey, you can you can make it pretty fast. I mean, it makes pretty good money for newbie. So anyway, that's the this this video, and I uh, hope you uh, you hope you liked it. Leave leave a comment if you want to see any specific videos. We're gonna start doing uh, Dofus dungeon vid videos since our site's mainly about dungeons. We're gonna focus on the dungeons, run a bunch of uh, Incarnum, Flower uh, Field Dungeon, probably the um, whatever that water dungeon is, I can't remember right now. Uh, whatever. A um, couple other dungeons. I think skeleton dungeon is too high for us, and tofu dungeon is too high too. But anyway, uh, we'll probably be doing some regular gameplay uh, videos too, just us out randomly jacking stuff up, telling you how to grind on certain maps and stuff like that. Um, stuff like just things like that. Maybe we'll do some more advanced professions stuff like. For different kind of uh, professions, different harvesting techniques and stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, see you later.